What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. The Sephora sale is here and we are going shopping today. You probably already saw, I already posted my Sephora sale recommendation video showing you guys my favorite holy grail products in every category at Sephora. But that being said, friends, I already own all that stuff, okay? This video is gonna be about what I'm thinking of getting in the sale. I'm gonna be showing you guys all the goodies that I have in my cart. And we're also gonna be taking a look at some new drops at Sephora. I'm gonna be giving you guys my thoughts. Maybe I'm gonna be picking some of them up we shall see so if you want to hang out with me today chill out and shop the sephora sale together then keep watching and if you can't tell by my comfy attire we are totally shopping on the sephora app we are not going in store guys okay online shopping is my jam i like to be comfy and shop from my phone so let's take a look at what we have from sephora i'm gonna start off by looking in the brand new beauty section because this is where all like the good new stuff just dropped obviously i already have a lot of stuff that is in this section because i reviewed here on my channel but there's some new stuff okay there's some new stuff that i haven't seen here yet the first thing this came out of nowhere i was not expecting this these are the nars talc free powder blushes so similar to the laguna bronzers it looks like nars just reformulated their ever famous blushes and i'm not gonna lie i'm I'm definitely intrigued. Let's take a look at the shades here. I think I'm going to be picking up one of these, even if it's just to see, you know, are they different? Are they better? Are they worse? Okay, because the bronzers are so, so good. And taking a look at the shades here, I'm almost thinking of being super boring and getting like the lightest shade that they have, something really, really neutral and everyday. There's this one shade right here, 920 Sex Appeal. It is described as a matte soft peach. And and I might get that one. I bet you anything that one is going to sell out. They have some minis here, but I don't really, yeah, I don't really want any of those shades. Comment down below. Have you tried these yet? Probably not because we're all probably waiting for the sale to start. Ooh, this is pretty too. Amour. I like that shade. I like the bright pink, which is called Thrill. I also like Orgasm Rush, a deep rose bronze with shimmer. Ooh, <laughs> Is that one new? This is gonna be hard. You know what? I think I'm gonna put Orgasm Rush and then what was the lighter one? Sex Appeal. I think I'm gonna put both of those in my cart. I think I'm gonna get at least one, but I'm not sure which one just yet. Probably start with one and if I like it, then I will get two. This right here is also new. This is from Huda Beauty. This is the Faux Filler Shiny Non-Sticky Lip Gloss. I think Huda Beauty is going through a bit of a rebranding phase and this is supposed to be, I don't know, like a big product launch for them. This does look pretty good. They look super shiny, super kind of glazed donut type of look. But that being said, I just don't need any more lip gloss, guys. I'd rather get like the YSL candy glaze or Love Shine candy glaze, whatever they are called now. I don't think I'm going to be picking up one of those. Let's see what else they have here. Ooh, the Westman Atelier lipsticks that I hate. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys, you really like them and that's totally fine. I am happy for you, but for whatever reason, the three that I got were just so, so gritty. I did not enjoy them at all. Okay, we got the Rare Beauty new Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blushes. I already bought all of them. I already reviewed them. That's the sad thing about being a YouTuber. It's like I buy these things, I don't really get to enjoy the discount during the sale, but that's okay. It's still fun to review these things for you guys. What else do we have here? How is this new? new Kosas concealer. Is this new? I don't know. Sometimes I question some of the things that they put in here. Maybe they have some new shades. Comment down below if you know what is up with that. Oh, but here we have the Charlotte Tilbury Big Lip Plumpgasm. This is the one that I was making fun of in my What's New in Luxury Beauty video that I do every two weeks. This is the one with the ridiculous packaging. The model looks beautiful. The lips look beautiful. But I mean, guys, take a look like Take a look at that packaging. Like what is going on with that? Some of you guys said it looked like a cigarette. Some of us said it looked like, I don't know, something else, but I absolutely hate it. That being said, I'm a, I don't know. I'm like a little bit, I'm a little bit tempted to try it because now it's almost, I don't know, like I need to try it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm so curious. If I were to try it, should I get fair medium or should I get the medium deep? I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll do the fair medium because I always do the deeper shades. So I'm gonna put that one in my car as like a maybe. Let's see what else. Oh, the new Soleil quad from Tom Ford. I already have this as well, but I was so excited when I saw this pop up on Sephora. It literally showed up a 
along with the rest of the collection as I was filming my recommendations video and I was like, you know what? Let me just, let me just double check. Let me just double check to see if anything has dropped and this came out. I was so excited about that. I do really like that palette. If you didn't watch the other video or the review I did of the palette, I think it's really, really beautiful, but it is very, very shiny. Now they do have the Soleil Liquid Lip Blush Lip Balm. This looks gorgeous, but I just don't know if I can bring myself to spend $65 on what is a very aesthetically pleasing, but a very just like a light pink wash of color product. I'm sure it's lovely. I'm sure it's lovely, but this is definitely like a, you know, treat yourself type of situation. And then they also have here the highlighter. This is in the shade Nude Sand Golden Champagne. And you know what, guys? I thought that this was gonna be darker than what it shows right here. I thought that this was gonna be a lot more yellow. Now that I'm actually looking at it, it actually looks like it is more suitable for my skin tone than the other ones that they recently launched. <sighs> I don't know. I'm definitely gonna give it a little heart. I'm definitely gonna give it a little heart. You know, maybe I will see if they have it in store and I'm gonna add that one to basket because a highlighter, I feel like I can keep for a long time. It's not gonna get lost in a purse. The lip products, I feel like, I don't know. I end up decluttering a lot of them at the end of the year. Ooh, the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes. I still don't feel like I really need this. I know a lot of people like the all matte palettes, but I still kind of feel like I can just use my Viseart palettes as opposed to this. Oh, wow, it has really, really good reviews. It's got 4.6 stars. This person says, so good, five stars. Amazing, but four stars? Why, why is that? She doesn't explain. She does not explain why. A lot of people, wow, are really excited about this. I bet it's good. It's just like, I don't know, if I'm not going to review it, it's just really not something that I personally need. I feel like I can get a neutral look from a lot of other products. Let's see, we have the new Dior products here. I already have both of those, already reviewed them. What is, what, what in the little shop of horrors is this. This is from Refi or Refi. I don't know how to pronounce the name of the brand. It is the Lash Sculpt Lengthen and Lift Mascara. Oh my gosh, it only has three stars and has 52 reviews. Hold on, let me just, let's just zoom in there real quick on the brush. I feel like this is something that maybe was supposed to be, I don't want to say gimmicky, but almost like go viral, be something that people were super curious about because that looks absolutely horrifying. I don't want to put that near my lashes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Some of these reviews. Oh my goodness. This looks like a disaster. I love to go through Sephora and just like read reviews of some of these products. One star, probably the worst mascara I have used. Some people say they absolutely love it. I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't think I would put that near my eyeball. My goodness. Oh, here we go. We've got the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Blooming Romance Palette for Eyes, Brows, Face, and Lips. This does look really pretty. It looks very aesthetically pleasing. I do love these colors, but I have to say, I feel like I have these colors. You know, I have that Patrick Ta palette, which I bet this formula is a lot better. I don't really like the shivers in that one, but I also have all like the Charlotte Tilbury palettes. Yeah, I feel like I can create most of the things I would wanna create with this, but this is intriguing to me because the formula seems pretty unique and a lot of people said that they really like the original Groundwork palette and it's kind of like an everyday favorite for them. I don't know, comment down below. Let me know if you got the original Groundwork palette, if it worked out for you. This one, I think I'm gonna pass on it for now just because I feel like the shades are same, same with what I have. Oh, okay. I saw this on social media or something like that. This is from Urban Decay. This is called the Urban Decay Face Bond? Face Bond Self-Setting Waterproof Foundation. I feel like Face Bond just sounds really, really weird. Like I don't want my face bonded, but I do, I do kind of like the look of this foundation. I think this is supposed to be like a very stay all day type of foundation. I kind of like that thin little, I don't know, like the little nozzle, the little nozzle where the foundation comes out of. I feel like it's unnecessary, but I kind of like the look of it. I love a good squeezy tube, especially for summer. Let's take a look at the description. A lightweight waterproof foundation with the skincare benefits of a serum and the self-setting powder for 
and self-setting powder for blurring effect in a medium coverage matte finish. I kind of... I don't know, I kind of like the sound of that. This sounds like something that maybe I would use when it gets really, really hot here in Dallas come, I guess like June, maybe even next month, we'll see. I don't know if this is something that I would use right now. I feel like I'm gonna watch reviews. I feel like I'm gonna watch reviews of this and just enjoy the reviews. And if people say it's really good, then I will go and get it from Sephora another time after the sale, but I'm not gonna like stock up on a million foundations right now because they go bad, you know? I just threw out a bunch of foundations that I mostly used up but they still had a little bit of life in them, but I just knew they were expired. So I don't like to hoard way too many foundations. Okay, here's something from Armani Beauty. This is the Prisma Glass Hydrating Lip Gloss with squalane. Ooh, with squalane. Are we sure there's not hyaluronic acid? Are we sure there's no niacinamide? The outrage, just squalane? Oh my gosh. No, I'm just playing, guys. Okay, so Armani Beauty, these look... They look yummy. Like I love the marketing behind these, the Prisma glass. It really does look like a cool drink of water. Do you know what I'm saying? They look delicious and like jelly full. This one is called Candy Halo. What are the other colors? Clear Shine, Honey Gleam. Oh, honey Gleam. Cherry Glaze, Cherry Glaze and Berry Beam. These look so, so good. But like I said before, I'm trying to stay away from this kind of stuff. I'm not gonna get this just because it's a Givenchy if I said I wouldn't get the Huda Beauty ones, but I do really like the marketing behind these. I think that they look beautiful. It's just like something I don't personally need. You know what I'm talking about? This is something that has intrigued me. This is the kind of product that I, like want to own, like I want to have it there because it's fun to play with, but I'm a little bit nervous that I just like won't ever use it. This is from Makeup Forever. This is the HD Skin Face Essentials Long Wear Full Face Cream Palette. Oh my goodness, it has five stars. 4.9? Are people paid to, to say this? Or is this really that good? You guys need to let me know. I did not know this had such good reviews. People are saying it's like perfect for travel, this is all that they need. It looks like there is, let's go back. There's a tan to deep and then there's a light to medium. Oh my goodness. These look pretty. Of course I want the deeper blush shades, but I want like the lighter face shades. Ah, the problems. Oh my goodness. You guys need to tell me if this is something that I need. What is this formula like? Is it like really dewy? Okay, because I had the Danessa Myricks kind of like highlighter pan and I just never used it because it was very, very dewy and just like, I don't know, didn't add that much pigment to my face. Do these, like, are they long wearing? I really need to know. I keep seeing Glam Girl Chelsea use these all the time. So maybe she can recommend them to me, but she has created some absolutely gorgeous looks with these. So check out her Instagram reels if you want to see a little bit more of that. Oh, speaking of Chelsea, We've got Danessa Myricks, her favorite. This is the Yummy Skin Mattifying Water Powder Serum with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. Ah, we got the buzzwords. We got the key words in the title. There we go, Danessa Myricks. So smart with that marketing. This is, I don't get it. It's a mattifying priming face serum. So it's a serum and it's water to powder. Primes absorb shine and visibly refine skin with comfort matte compound a unique blend of seven potent ingredients. This looks like a really great product if you have oilier skin. I don't think it's gonna be for me, but we'll see. This is gonna be my first summer in Texas, so maybe I'll be coming back to this at some point. I'm not gonna lie, all these Danessa Myricks products, they definitely intrigue me. Like, I wanna try them, I want them to be for me, but some of them just like don't really work out either with my lifestyle or my skin type. So I feel like I'm gonna give this like a little heart and maybe come back to it at a later time. I really try not to just buy up everything during the sale. Make sure guys that you set a budget and you stick to the budget. Even I have a budget, okay? It really just helps me figure out like, okay, do I really need this? What did I actually show up for? You know, sometimes I see things and it's like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I actually want to try it. It's good to heart things because then you can always come back to them a little bit later or maybe during the next sale and be like, what was I thinking about last time? Oh yeah, 
yeah, like, do I really still want that after however many weeks or months or whatever? So that's my strategy, at least. Comment down below and let me know if you have any other little budgeting tricks. So that's all they have under the new makeup, but I know that there are some other new things I wanted to show you guys. Okay, here we go. This is the Sol de Janeiro. I'm sorry, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I know I've been pronouncing it wrong. I'm so, so, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying my best, okay? But I wanna show you, they have a couple of new things here, and this is like a sunscreen line. So if you didn't really care about the body balms and the other shimmers and stuff, they now have something that is both practical and fun. This is called the Rio Radiance Collection, and it looks like they have, okay, so they have this one that is a body spray sunscreen, but it has niacinamide. I didn't plan this, guys, I swear, okay? This has like a shimmer to it. See how she's kind of gleaming? Hold on, there's another image here, I know. There we go, you can kind of see the difference in the before and the after. It's very subtle, and I believe this has, once again, a really nice scent. It's the Cherosa, Ch Chirosa? 87 cent that's the scent that's in here i don't know which one that is but i'm pretty sure that's one of their popular ones they also have a body oil sunscreen which i don't know i'm a little bit skeptical about that i'm sure they've done their research you know i'm like i'm sure they have the resources they're owned by the way by loxaton did you guys know that they were acquired i want to say maybe about two years ago and they are definitely definitely a cash cow for that like parent company. Anyway, sorry, I'm like going into the business of things. But the fact that this is an oil, I'm kind of like, I don't know, it makes me think of sun tanning oil, not like a sunscreen that's like really going to do its job. But I'm sure they've done the research. I'm not a cosmetic chemist, but it's basically the same thing. And then they also have right here, yes, they have like a general body lotion. And this says it's a hundred percent mineral. I don't think that they have here what the UV filter that they're using is. I'm going back to the homepage here, guys, because I want to show you the new YSL Love Shine lipsticks, okay? I still think that these are good. They were reformulated, but like, I can't really tell that much of a difference. I would love to hear if you guys feel like they're that much different from the YSL Rouge Volupte Shine, like what they had before. Legit, I really just think it was to like generate more buzz, to be like, oh, look at this new product, because whenever Whenever you do anything different to the product, it shows up in the, you know, new makeup or usually shows up in like the new makeup section of sites. And so people take, you know, more interest in it. Like, oh, is it new? Like what's different about it? New shades. I bet a lot of people didn't even realize that this was something before that they just kind of like slightly reformulated and rebranded. So I think that's what they are doing because this style of lipstick is definitely really popular by now. By the way, if you don't, if this is like your first time here or something, welcome. I've already talked about these lipsticks a couple of times here on my channel. I mostly cover luxury beauty, so make sure you are subscribed if you wanna see more makeup reviews in the luxury beauty category. These are basically like glossy lipsticks, okay? And they're pretty pigmented, actually, I'm wearing one on my lips today, which is called Peachy Glow. Let me show you guys which one this is. Where are you? Where are you? Here we go. This is peachy glow. Do you feel like it looks like this? I don't think this looks peachy at all. Not even in the image right here, guys. I feel like it just looks like a nice soft nude. So if you want the most basic shade, definitely pick this one up. But me, I'm looking for some other shades, something more pigmented, okay? I picked this one up because I was like, let me just start off with something super basic. I wanna get maybe a deeper color. Blushed Mallow, ooh, Blushed Mallow, yummy. This one is called Nude Self, Warm Berry Nude, that's a good candidate. Spicy Affair, ooh, Spicy Affair, I love the names. Caramel Swirl, this is described as a brown nude. This one looks good. This one looks really good for me because it looks kind of warm. It kind of reminds me of some of the other colors that I liked in the old formula. Let's see, Scenic Brown, love a good brown. Brown, deep ruby. I don't know. I'm not I'm not really feeling a red. I feel like I've already picked up a couple like red and more orangey red colors. So I think I think maybe the caramel swirl. Yeah. 
I think maybe the caramel swirl because I need something that's like different enough from the peachy glow. Let's see what else is new here. Not really seeing much more here on the home page. I want to show you guys the fragrance that I'm thinking of getting. Let's do that next. And you guys know I love Tom Ford. Okay, so it is from Tom Ford. Can you guess which one it is? Okay, so here it is. This is the Tom Ford Mandarino di Amalfi perfume and this is very expensive, okay? So I usually get these whenever the Sephora sale comes around because I don't want to be paying full price. Let me read you guys about this. So the fragrance family is fresh. The scent type is fresh citrus and fruits. The key notes are mandarin, basil, and shiso leaf accord. And it says here, listen to this description, okay? I'm about to sell you this fantasy, okay? Or Tom Ford is. Tonic-like citrus, aromatic herbs, wildflowers and night blooming flowers create a luminous textured fragrance that is as blissful as retreating to a whitewashed Amalfi villa. Yes, that's where I want to be, Tom Ford. It's an invitation into a Mediterranean ideal where Italian coastal ingredients perfume the evening air. Yes, yes, that is the fantasy that I want for my summertime perfume. Take a look at that gorgeous bottle, okay? And the beautiful tangerines that just surround it. It looks so good. I really hope that this is good, okay? It has pretty good reviews. I was reading them the other day. A lot of people say this is a really nice summer scent. Some people say that they don't really get like the basil in there, which I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to test it out, guys. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I'm going to get. And a lot of people have also said that if you like Neroli Portofino, you're probably going to like this, except this lasts a little bit longer. And that's very exciting to hear because I love Neroli Portofino. I put that in my Sephora recommendations video for you guys. I feel like it has like decent longevity, but they're right. It doesn't last super, super long, not as long as some of the other ones. So I gotta add it to my basket. It's added, eee, I'm excited. I'm so excited to try this, guys. Mm, another category that I wanna shop for with you guys is home fragrance, okay? So like candles, diffusers, that kind of stuff. I wanna get at least one diffuser for my studio and maybe like one for each bathroom. So I was taking a look at what they had on Sephora the other day and yeah, they already have the two that I favorited right here. So you guys can let me know if these scents are any good. The first one here is from the Replica line, the Maison Marge. This is Lazy Sunday Morning. I just really like the aesthetic of these diffusers. It's like the ceramic white with like the white reeds. It's just, it looks so clean and fresh. And you guys know, I love kind of bright, fresh colors, lots of whites and like gold accents and that, and that kind of stuff. I like clean, I like glam. This sounds very relaxing. It says Lily of the Valley Accord, Ambrette Seeds, Iris Accord, and White Musk. I don't think that I would wear that as a fragrance, but it sounds like a really nice home fragrance. Let me know if you guys have tried this before. They have some of the other fragrances here on Sephora, but I feel like, you know, like the Jazz Club and all that kind of stuff, it might be a little bit too heavy for me, but I really like the look and the aesthetic of the actual reed diffuser. Also here we have the Jo Malone ones. My goodness, these are expensive. For a reed diffuser, ugh, I might just buy it and then like when it stops smelling good, I'll like fill it up with some other oil that I have that I have because I might be too cheap to buy another one, but I don't know. I also like the aesthetic of the Jo Malone and I love Jo Malone scents and lime basil and mandarin is one of my faves. I have that one that I kind of wear like around the summertime. Fresh citrus and fruits, mandarin, basil, and amber wood. So yeah, nothing too crazy, but I feel like this would be a really, really nice home scent. So yeah, I'm just going to add this one to my cart, but let me know guys, is there another one I should be picking up. I know they have like peony and blush suede, but that one's maybe like a little bit too powdery for me. I don't know. Do you have any of these? Let me know if they're good and let me know if you feel like they last long as well. We also need to pick up some more of my favorite lipsticks that I recently reviewed. Starting off, let's find the Merit ones. 
Those are so good and I need to get at least one more shade in those. Oh, so good. Okay, so this shade neutral, it looks very boring, but I feel like it's really nice. The reason that I haven't picked this one up is that I thought maybe this one wouldn't really show up on my lips. Also, this is the color that I bought my mom. It's called Sunday. It's so lovely. It's so pretty. Sunday is a beautiful shade. Actually, let me favorite that one. I'll kind of like come back to it. The one that I was originally gonna get is this one, which is called Maison, but it said mauve, and I didn't, like, I don't really like mauve lipsticks most of the time, but this doesn't, this doesn't look mauve, okay? This doesn't look mauve, so I'm gonna have to maybe watch some reviews and maybe, like, some lip swatches or something on another creator to see does this pull very mauve because this looks really beautiful and soft more like a rose to me so i don't know that's the other one that i'm thinking about so i'm going to favorite that maybe add that one to cart for now we also need to pick up more of the makeup by mario super satin lipsticks okay i definitely Definitely need more shades of those. So let's take a look here, guys. I think I wanna pick up maybe like a nude, something a little bit lighter because I picked up this shade, I'll show you. It's called Dumbo. It's described as a spiced rose. It's really, really beautiful. But what I'm finding is that I think these lipsticks, they, at least on my lips, they come across more vibrant and more pigmented and deeper in person than they do here in the promo photos because this color looks a lot lighter in the promo photos than it does on my lips. So I think I need to go a little bit lighter if I want something that's like a true nude for every day. So I figured we'd take a look together. So here we have Nolita Midtone Warm Pink. That one is very pink. That's like a little bit pinker than I want. So let's see, 917 Midtone Warm Rose. That looks nice. That looks kind of like a Charlotte Tilbury pillow top. I don't know, that could be good. It's kind of like the Dumbo shade, but just a little bit lighter. Then we have South Shore Cool Pink Nude. This looks like it's gonna be consistent sealer lips on me. Like, look at the deeper skinned lips here. I don't know if I like that, but here's the thing. Is this what it looks like? I don't know. Okay, maybe this would be the perfect shade. Then we have flat iron, which is a warm beige. It's like same, same, and midtown light neutral pink. These are all the same, but like slightly different undertones. So I don't know. I'm afraid that these are going to be a little bit too light for me. They have another shade here, Bronx Baby. Okay, yes. I already favorited this one. Okay, I can see it right here. I feel like I've seen a lot of people pick up this shade and they said that they really liked it. I think I'm gonna add this one to basket because it looks like from the swatch that it is lighter than Dumbo, but it's darker than some of the other ones that I just showed you. I don't know, I might get one more. I'm not quite sure. I do like this color as well, which is called Soho. It is a soft coral. Oh, so beautiful. I have been reaching for these a lot, but I keep reaching for them kind of wanting to pair them with other eye looks that are a little bit like more colorful and dramatic and I just don't feel like I have the right neutrals. So I, I do think I'm gonna, I do think I'm gonna get good use out of these. I don't wanna buy too many lip products. All right, let's check out the damage guys. Let's see what we've racked up so far. Oh my gosh. <laughs> $725! Ah! I mean, a lot of it is the Tom Ford perfume, I'm sure. I'm sure, because that's like almost $300. So I guess it's not that bad, but that's a lot of money. Oh my goodness. This is definitely going to get pruned down. I'm just building my basket for now. You know, I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. There isn't too, too much that I was interested in. A couple of new things, a couple of new categories that I haven't really shopped before, like the home fragrances and that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this chill little sit down video shopping with me today. Let me know down below if you like this style of video, if you want me to do this maybe regularly on my channel as we have new things that pop up on the Sephora site. Make sure also you let me know in the comments section what you think you're going to be picking up in the sale. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? We always have a lot of fun here. I'm always really honest about the products that I test out. I love reviewing new things and talking about the world of luxury beauty. So please hit that subscribe button to join our fam. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.